you unclip it, it slides off and transfers to the plunger outer really quick to really wrench it down. Well, with this one, you only have one, so you have to make sure you get it nice and tight. Hey, what's going on? Barnaby here. So you want to know more about the DeWalt Compact Router Kit? Well, it's got a seven amp motor, one and a quarter horsepower, capable of spinning the bit at anywhere between 16,000 and 27,000 RPMs. And what we like to do with tools like this is put them into the hands of real people like Dan Verkike and have you go out and router your little heart out and then come back and tell us about your perceptions of the performance of the tool, the design, the quality, and then the value. So first of all, let's talk about you. What do you do? I run a small contracting company, mm -hmm. residential remodeling, property maintenance, and light commercial. Okay, and earlier uh, off camera, you were bragging about uh, the artfulness of your big bad self as regards cord around with a laminate trim router or a compact router like this. So let's talk about specifically what you use the tool for. Well, I use a router like this for a lot of countertops. Mm -hmm. When you do the laminate edge banding, you need to trim them off and do your no-file bit around to smooth the edges. Sure. I also like to add detail to the cabinets that I build. Mm -hmm. I like to put little cord around strips around to frame in the drawer boxes and just add a little finishing touch to them to add a little creativity. That's probably much appreciated mm -hmm. down the part of the customer. Okay, so when you fired her up, what was your perception of the way it ran? Had a strong motor, plowed through the wood, um, had some really nice functionality to it. Mm -hmm. um, this, if you unclip it, just slides off and transfers to the plunger router really quick. Makes you want to use the plunge option a little bit more since it's so quick. Mm -hmm. So it has, it has some really nice design features to it. Mm -hmm. nice, nice little lip around here that protects your fingers from not feeling where the blade's going to go into. Right. So it's almost like a stop for your finger. Right. You, your hand knows where it's at. Okay. And so it plowed through all the wood that you wanted it to. Did it tear it up or did it uh, do the job like a nice router would do? Well, with, with any router, the router's only as good as the bit. Right. If you have a dull bit, you're going to burn through anything. If mm -hmm. you got a good sharp bit, that's where the variable speed comes in nice. Right. You, you judge your wood and it comes with the two LEDs on this one so you can actually, as you're routering, it lights up the surface so you can see if you're going too fast or too slow. Mm -hmm. And with those lights, you can also see the depth of your pieces to see if you're leaving any grooves that aren't supposed to be there. And if you are, it's got a little 1 64th adjuster. Okay, so in your estimation, this performed pretty well compared to other routers you've used? Yeah, I enjoyed the performance of it. Okay, well then let's move on to the design because the two are married really. As the tool is designed, so goes its performance. But let's talk about the things that you liked and maybe didn't like about it. Well, like I said, I, it has a nice lip so your hand knows where it's at. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have the um, rubber back on the hand, right. so it gets cold. So if it's a colder temperature, a colder shop, right. it can get cold in your hand. The 1 64th depth change is nice yep. until you need to, you have a longer bit. And you right. need to get towards the end. Yep. Now it takes a little bit more time. 59, 58, 57, 56. <laughs> At a 64th yeah, every go. time. Right. Um, so it's, it's a give or take. Yeah. It's nice to have the adjuster when you're using it. It's just a little annoying when you're setting it up. Okay. Well, let's talk about popping it off and putting it into the base. You said it's pretty easy to do. Slides off like that. Mm -hmm. and you go to the new one. You got to make sure this is all the way up or right. you can spin it all the way off. Sure. Just drops right in, locks in place. Okay. This, this has some nice, nice features on it too. Lock it down and you can, you can adjust your depth there, but then it also has quarter inch turns. Okay. So you can change your, your depths by a quarter of an inch just by flipping that around. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good design? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's got a soft start. That seems to be pretty much what's uh, on every router, right? Yeah. It just, you can see if the bit's going to wobble mm -hmm. and it starts up before it goes crazy, you can shut it off. Sure. And the variable speed, um, six settings on it, does that help you out? Uh, for all the different species of woods that are out there. Mm -hmm. If it's a really hard, grainy wood, you're going to want to go with a bit slower speed yeah. and just go slower on it. Where if it's like a, a pine or a poplar, you just want to go all the way up and just fly right through it. Okay, and speaking of bits, let's talk about uh, the change. How's so, this one work for you? Well, say you're using this setting right here. You mm -hmm. just crank it all the way to the top. Right. It's got a push button right here that yep. locks it. Spindle lock. Yeah. And you just lock it right in and you can just spin the bit right off. Okay. Which is you have to get used to because yeah. with, with two chucks or two, two wrenches, you have the, the leverage of two hands mm -hmm. to really wrench it down. Where with this one, you only have one. So you have to make sure you get it nice and tight. You just have to just be leery that make sure it's tight. All right, then let's talk about your perception of the quality of this. 
as you mentioned, it has some weight, right? What do you think mm -hmm. about the, when you turn it on? How the motor sound to you? It sounded strong. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I think it's going to last at least four or five years. So now we get down to that moment of truth. Your assessment of the value of the tool. There's a lot of routers out there you could buy. Is this the one that you buy? There's five or six on the shelves in most stores right now that are within $20 of each other. Mm -hmm. To me, this is the brand that I would buy based on that, based on the price point. It's, it's not a huge jump, so I would say the value is there. Okay, so you're a fan of the router. Yep. Cool. All right, well, you know what? It's always good to know before you plunk down your hard-earned cash, right? That's what we're all about here at toolselect.com. Real stats, real people, making it real easy to figure out which tool is right for you. And hey, while we're talking about tools, you probably own a few, right? That's why you're on our site looking for more maybe. And so do me a favor, become a member of toolselect.com. It's free of charge to do that. And then just tell us what you know about the tools that you own. You can also involve yourself in discussion threads about tools maybe you're thinking about buying, experiences with tools that you've had. It's all right here for you lovers of tools, toolselect.com. Clip it, slides off, and transfers to the plunger router really quick to really wrench it down. Well, with this one, you only have one, so you have to make sure you get it nice and tight. Hey, what's going on? Barnaby here. So, you want to know more about the DeWalt Compact Router Kit? Well, it's got a seven amp motor, one and a quarter horsepower, capable of spinning the bit at anywhere between 16,000 and 27,000 RPMs. And what we like to do with tools like this is put them into the hands of real people like Dan Kike and have you go out and router your little heart out and then come back and tell us about your perceptions of the performance